Creating air geometry is absolutely critical in doing a magnetic simulation. In this video, we will see how you can create air geometry. First, we create a new part in SOLIDWORKS and then we sketch out a profile which we can extrude into the part. In this case, we sketch out a rectangular profile and we extrude it as a solid geometry. Once you have this solid geometry, we need to subtract all the components that are inside this airspace. To do that, we use the cavity command inside SOLIDWORKS and then select the components that are inside this air geometry to subtract. Finally, we rename this part into something meaningful like say air or air geometry. And just to be sure everything was fine, we'll turn on the transparency to see that the components inside are still visible. And finally, we will do an interference detection. Notice that when we do an interference check, there is no interference in this model. And this is absolutely critical in doing a simulation. 